we're going to go shopping today for our business. Just got my new meal plan. So, I'm going to check out what I need to get. So, let's have a look. So, the first thing is breakfast. And it says to get oats. Specifically say so. I'm thinking, oh, these are my bag. I mean, there's a little bit of chocolate in there, which we don't need to know. It's still oats, so pop them straight in the basket, darling. get is some yogurt, some Greek yogurt. Why does it matter where it comes from? Yogurt is yogurt, so let's have a look what we've got here. Um, yeah, these ones look all right. The little, so, little colourful. There's a banana on there, so I'm pretty certain that's got one of my five a day at least. So we'll pop them in the basket and uh, see what else we've got. I've had a few slight tweaks of my own, but nothing major. It's all going to be within my uh, with, within the plan. I think it's going to be up okay. here. So we've got to get some rice cakes. Rice cakes, rice cakes, rice cakes. Let's have a look. Uh, rice cakes. These ones look a bit clear. Oh, these are more my bag. We've got some here with yogurt and strawberry. Oh, look at these amazing chop chop. It's still rice cakes, I'm sure they'll both be fine. Yep, moving on. The thing he's told me to get is some grapes. I'm not a big grape fan, but this is kind of my bag. I think there's, uh, there's grapes in there, so it should be okay. Next thing I'm going to get is some dark chocolate. Now, which one's dark? That's probably the darkest packaging I've seen, so we'll probably go for this one. Hi there. Hi, Karen. How are you? Oh, Coach Ryan, how are you? You've been shopping? Is that is that your food shop? Yeah. Yeah, I've I've, I've done my food shop. Uh, got everything, all healthy food, of course. Do you want to go inside and we'll have a we'll have a look what you've got? I'm, I'm, I've got some free time now in the gym. Come in, come inside. We'll have a look at your food shop. Eh? Um, you want me to come in? Uh, I, su I suppose I can. Yeah, if if you want. Now. All right. I'll see you in there. So yeah, I did my shopping. There might be a few little personal tweaks and things I adjusted slightly but I knew they were healthy um, possibly might be something in there that I don't think it belongs to me to actually know how it got in there um, but yeah I, I, have a look we'll, 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 we'll see how it is okay Karen let's have a little look in your shopping basket and run through some of the items you've purchased some which I've asked you to purchase within the RFS meal plan and some things that it looks like you've just we'll go through this all right, so first things first, let's have a look here what we've got. Okay, dark chocolate rice cakes, not the worst option in the world, but let's have a little bit of a run through why certain people might pick up this thinking it's a healthier food choice. And especially for yourself when it comes to weight loss, like what you're trying to achieve, why these might not be the best options. Now, on a lot of packaging these days, there's a lot of mis-sell, let's say. So first thing it says is diet. And then underneath, sin gluten, gluten free. Now, a lot of people are immediately attracted to something like this. And just because it says diet or gluten free, they presume these are healthy, low calorie, and something that would be perfect for losing weight. Now, obviously on the plan, I asked you to get plain rice cakes. And one of the reasons is, as a normal rice cake, between 20 and 30 calories. One single rice cake here is 80 calories. So it's a lot of calories compared to a plain rice cake. When it comes to diet, like I say, it's a big miss sell on a lot of things like this. People think fat free 
and diet without gluten is going to keep them on track when actually you should be looking a little bit further always check the calorie content and the macros on the back of everything you buy and have a look a little bit deeper especially at sugar okay so we can make better choices here with this one especially yeah well suit yourself a little bit of chocolate never hurt anybody all right karen just trust in what i say stick to the plan Trust the process and you will make results. All right, let's have a look what you've picked out next. So we've got some yogurts here, some nice colorful yogurts. Unfortunately, just because it says banana and strawberry and raspberry, doesn't necessarily mean that's gonna be one of your five a day, unfortunately, Karen. I mean, it's bloody believable, isn't it? What people put on packages. I mean, I was certain at least I was gonna get three of my five a day out of them. I had strawberry, I had banana, I had raspberry. Had it all covered, and no, someone drops a bombshell and I'm like, eh, eh. And once again, we need to take it. These have got a hell of a lot of sugar in, even for a small calorie pot. Now, of course, when we're talking about calories, it's more important to stay in what you need to within that day to create a calorie deficit. But once again, we can have a lot better choices than this, and you could actually have a lot bigger yogurt. So it'd be a much better option to take a Greek yogurt, for example, which is going to be much higher in protein. It's going to have better macros. And then you could mix that in with a whey protein, like the RFS chocolate whey protein. It's going to be exactly like a dessert. Give it a little bit of flavor and cut the calories by almost half. <laughs> You'll see I've made a smart choice on this one. Jim Nuts. <coughs> Jim Nookies. Okay, a bag of nuts, which I've obviously put on the plant. Nuts are fantastic. They're a great source of essential fats, fiber, packed with some protein as well in these. But again, there's a little bit of a mis-sell on here. It says gym. So people, when they don't understand macronutrients, they don't understand food, this is a great sell. This is something what's going to draw somebody in who's wanting to be fitter, lose weight, potentially build muscle, whichever it is. You see Jim and you instantly think it's a great food source. Now in here there is some chocolate covered nuts. Now they are obviously not the best. Nuts are very, very high in calories. They're a great energy source food to have around training. Of course an essential fat with some protein as well in there. But then when we're covering these things with nuts, you're bumping up already what's a high calorie food choice even more. And once, and once again, trying to create a calorie deficit is gonna be a difficult thing to do with these little added extras, which you will not be tracking because you think these are gym nuts and it's not really a great option. So Karen, let's have a quick look at what we have here. Uh, this apparently is turkey. Now, anytime you see a meat sauce, which is like a processed type of meat, just like this, sometimes you see them in like the butcher section in a big ball. Now, if that ball looks like it'll bounce like a football or a volleyball, it's got danger written all over it. Now, I, in the past, pulled protein from everywhere and I'd use this as a quick sauce. It's not the worst, but it's definitely not going to be the best. It's very high in sodium which is not a bad thing, we need sodium within his diet, but this is highly packed with it. And sometimes when it comes to weight loss and trying to control things like our blood sugar levels, it might not be the best choice. And just looking at this thing, when it's perfectly round, I don't even know, I think this thing's still got a heartbeat, I'm not sure, but it's not gonna be the best choice to use. Try to get fresh turkey or chicken breast fresh cuts, not this sliced stuff. And like I say, when you sit in a butcher section and it looks like it's gonna be bounced, it's got a bit of a danger sign straight away written all over it. This is not the right choice or the best choice you could make. Meat's meat, don't mind a bit of meat, but did you know it was so specific. <coughs> Did it make these things clearer in future, don't you, Ryan? Okay. Let's have a little look at this one, Karen. Breakfast choice. Crunchy muesli with chocolate. You like chocolate, Karen? 
Ryan, but the girl has needs. Everybody needs a bit of chock chock. Got to have some chock chock going on somewhere, so you better sort this out right now. We all like a bit of chock chock, Karen, but unfortunately, it's not going to be once again the greatest choice when it comes to fat loss. You're best taking a normal oatmeal plain, and we can add some things in like raisins, okay, we can make it a little bit sweeter with some again, syrup, for example, but this, once again, is absolutely packed with unneeded calories and it's very, very high in sugar. This is not going to be the greatest food choice, especially in the morning when it comes to breakfast. When you use things like the RFS whey protein, for example, mixing that in with plain oats is going to give it a chocolate flavour and it's going to keep you a happy little carrot. Karen, you've picked out one of my pet hates here, cereal bars. Fitness, straight away, another missed sell. Something what somebody's gonna buy with not enough idea about macronutrients or dieting, thinking this is a good choice. Probably to lose weight. Good for energy, of course, we could use these. If you're a performance athlete, but unfortunately, Karen, your main goal is fat loss. This is not a good choice. There's some much better bars you could be taking, which are protein bars, which are going to be lower sugar, lower calories, and this is just not needed. You don't need this. You're going to get enough nutrients, enough energy from the food I've set you on the plan. You don't need to be using things like fitness bars because this is not going to help you on your journey to fat loss. So they're, they're, they're good for energy. Do you know when I said some things might not be for me? Well, I'm going to just take one of them. Uh, I'm going to see Barry on Friday and I like to make sure he's got plenty of energy. Oh yeah, so I did tell you to get some pineapple, some fresh pineapple. This is dehydrated pineapple. Once again, not the greatest choice. Um, it has got added sugar. It comes as saying it's a snack, a fruit snack. And obviously a lot of people, once again, a misconception is thinking that eating lots of fruit is a great choice but once again when it comes to fat loss fruit contains a lot of sugar a lot of fructose this is going to store as fat eventually when your body doesn't break it down and use it as an energy source and the dehydrated stuff once again is it's just not the best option to take pineapple can be fantastic it's a great source of vitamin C and it's got packed with other essential vitamins and minerals it's also great for digestion but this dehydrated stuff is not the choice you want to be making. Get some of the fresh pineapple. And one more big factor we need to take into consideration is that a lot of people just like yourself Karen think that a healthy food choice is a low calorie food choice and you will lose weight, burn body fat, get the goals you want. For example, a normal pineapple, fresh pineapple, is around 40 calories per 100 gram. This stuff is around 300 calories per 100 gram. You see the difference when we try to stay within the set calories we need to, to make results. Them little things make a massive difference and that's why it's always important not to read gym, fitness, low calorie, fat free, but read deeper into the back. Check out the calories, and that's where you need to be looking all the time. Karen, what is this? Well, uh... <laughs> I didn't know I'd put that on the wine. Is the is the uh, is the reason why this is in your bag? Um, it, it contains grapes. Grapes are good for you. I read it in a book. Uh, Dr. Spencer downloaded said grapes are good. So yeah, I knew wine contained grapes and 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 and. Karen, this is alcohol. We are all entitled to alcohol. However, the first week of a plan. Your main goal being fat loss and you explaining to me that you think because this contains grapes, you can use it. Now, I wasn't born yesterday, Karen, and I've transformed hundreds and hundreds of people. Um, you're the first person who's told me that because this contains grapes, you can fit it to your nutrition plan. Is that correct? But just thinking, Coach Ryan, 
maybe we could compromise and uh, you could finish that bottle of wine with me. Um, you can take the wine, Karen. Uh, the door's over there. <coughs> Your loss. I'll take this with me, I think. Barry, I'm on my way.